friends welcome back to technique and today we'll be talking about the android 14 update for the xiaomi 13 pro so we have the xiaomi 13 pro with us so we had bought this uh, from uh, me.com during the first sale in fact uh, uh, this has been our uh, phone uh, uh, secondary phone for quite long time now almost uh, close to 10 months we have been using this device and uh, uh, the camera is something which uh, we all love about the xiaomi 13 pro now one thing uh, when i reviewed uh, the xiaomi 13 pro i mentioned that the updates I uh, for the Xiaomi 13 Pro has not been that uh, great because I got around four updates, uh, uh, four monthly patches, uh, four or three monthly patches overall. So that cycle is not a monthly cycle, it's kind of a quarterly cycle. That's something which uh, Xiaomi needs to improve, that's what I mentioned. But now what Xiaomi has done is directly updated uh, the uh, Xiaomi 13 Pro to Android 14. That's something which is really good because within uh, December or in fact uh, this rollout was happening around uh, the third week of November 2023. So that's pretty good uh, speed by Xiaomi's own standard. So that's a welcome move. So now we got Android 14 for the Xiaomi. 14 13 pro rather so let's see what all features it brings uh, so the change log is something uh, we, nothing is there in the change log in fact uh, if i go through the change log uh, so you can see here nothing is available in the change log it says uh, stable mui based on android 14 and updated android security patch to october 2023 increased system security and this is 5.7 gb inside this is a large update the uh, the version is 14.0.1.0 uh, that's the version so we have updated this and i will just show you how it looks so right now we are running on android 14 so let's just go to the about phone you can see here android 14 update uh, so android 14 that's the latest version uh, right now we have and uh, you can also see that miui 14 uh, based on android 14 and uh, this is the xiaomi 13 pro so detailed uh, specs you can see here snapdragon 8 gen 2 android version is android 14 and patch is october 2023 so this is uh, the update now let's see the features so let's uh, go to the notification toggle so here you can see here nothing much changed in fact almost similar experience so uh, if you look at the uh, overall experience nothing much changed except for the camera changes i will show you what all camera changes it brings in now if you look at uh, the multitasking uh, experience so you can see here very similar to the previous uh, ui nothing much changed in fact if you look at uh, the uh, notification as well so nothing much changed now you can see here if you uh, go here and uh, if you go here and swipe down you can see that the search option so this is something which we have been used previously so this is the search option now available just swipe from here you can see the search option then apart from that uh, you can uh, uh, see uh, the app drawer once again uh, here we don't see any major uh, difference in terms of experience so communication entertainment photography tools shopping news and uh, uh, reading games all those things are available previously as well so nothing much change in fact uh, there has no not many ui changes as such uh, because we expected this to come with HyperOS, but uh, probably uh, coming up versions might get uh, HyperOS. We are not really sure whether this will get HyperOS, but as of now, the latest version, Android 14, is available. Now, let's uh, go to the settings. So, about phone, you can see here, again, very similar in terms of UI experience. Again, nothing much changed here. Uh, very similar. Uh, if you look at the always on uh, display, lock screen, then uh, you can see here, uh, home screen customizations. Uh, system navigation, fingerprint, uh, face data, uh, everything looks very similar. Now if I just press and hold uh, on the vacant area, so you can see here widget customizations. So you can see here plenty of widgets available. So this is uh, the widget section of uh, this one. Quick uh, act functions are also there. You can see here widgets for quick functions. Uh, then uh, let's uh, go to the settings. You can see here uh, option to customize then uh, we have this wallpaper option so again not much of change now let's uh, go to the camera ui so camera ui is one area where we have uh, some changes now first is if you just swipe from the uh, top you can get this new ui this we have seen on the xiaomi 13 ultra now the xiaomi 13 pro also gets this uh, ui so you can see here uh, instead of going to the settings just swipe here you get all the settings options and you can also go to the uh, settings here which is quite similar now the ui has changed now you can actually control everything now you can see here auto macro mode super macro and you can see that the icon here the macro mode again uh, something which has been changed and if you look at the watermark uh, here also the ui has changed uh, for the watermark custom watermark if you want you can go here and add the custom watermark as well 
so uh, this is the ui change as such uh, but nothing much in terms of uh, experience you can see here 8k uh, video is also available so previously also 8k was uh, supported and uh, you can go with a 4k 60 fps as well now one other change is if you go here uh, previously you had this option then uh, now you can see that uh, now you can see this dial uh, you can go up to uh, 70x uh, using uh, the zoom and you can see this uh, nice dial here uh, this looks very nice uh, and in fact in fact uh, if you want to go here previously you can see here this is also available and uh, you get all the filters so these are the uh, filters so plenty of filters are there like a uh, filters black and white uh, uh, vivid uh, normal all those filters are there and the ui option so these are the new features the ui has changed a bit in the camera experience so that's one change then uh, if you swipe a uh, three finger screenshot uh, if you just swipe so now uh, we have taken the screenshot now you can see here i can add a device frame here uh, i'm not very sure whether this was previously available but uh, we are seeing this uh, add a device frame so you can see here i have added the Xiaomi 13 Pro device frame uh, to get a feel about uh, the device which you are taking that's something which is new uh, so you can see here you can take a device screenshot like this then apart from that uh, not much of change uh, you can see in this ui then apart from that the regular options are there you can uh, change uh, increase the size of the folder so you can see here edit folder enlarged version of the folder xxl uh, size so these are uh, nothing new we have seen previously as well uh, then let's see if any other options are included uh, so nothing much i guess so this is the ui uh, and uh, you can see that uh, not a lot of changes are there in this ui but it does get android uh, features so uh, that's something which is uh, quite new android 14 optimizations will be available here so over a period of time uh, we'll uh, see if there are any other features included so we just updated and we're just showing uh, the main interface in the video so we're not explored every other feature right now if you feel there are any other features we'll make a different video so as of now this is the xiaomi uh, 13 pro uh, with the android 14 update so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day